this started off as me filming for Instagram and quickly became something else. So I came just to feed the bees. It is a warm day, so I was going to give them some syrup. And I'm pretty sure my entire hive is dead. I pulled their entrance reducer. And let me show you what I saw. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're dead. My other one is doing great. It's very active. Um, see them. They look like they're doing wonderful. There is just zero activity in here, so. I'm going to go get some stuff and um, pull this apart and see if we can see what happened. There is a bee with a mite on it right there. Damn. You wanna see what a Varroa mite looks like, Caleb? My fancy hive tool today. I left my hive tool at home because I was going to clean it and I forgot to bring it back. Am I using my hive tool? I'm filming. Bunch of honey. Why is there a whole bunch of sugar? Whole bunch of honey. Why is there a whole bunch that of That was for the bees. What? Yep. Wow. A lot of new bees dead. This is very disappointing. Dang it. Still lots of capped honey. I've got, I've pulled five frames so far. Three of them are full of honey. You know, today it's like 50 degrees. It's a really nice day, which is why I'm feeding them syrup here in Northern Illinois. Um, this is about the time people are putting candy boards on and just really, you know, hunkering them down for the winter. But um, we've had such warm weather. I've been putting it off a little bit and I was gonna do it at the end of the weekend. So I will for my other hive. That is a very full frame of honey. I cannot believe this. Dang it. This was my strong hive. This was the strong one. I don't see mites on the few bees that I see. That does not mean they're not there. I'm going to do a mite count on these dead bees. I mean... Kind of pointless because their varroa mites are a parasite and they're only going to be on a bee as long as, you know, they're a host. If they're dead, they're not a host anymore. They're not a viable host. So our mite count could be zero. But the last time I did it, it was two. There's a few bees alive in there wiggling around, but you don't hear that buzzing. It's quiet. That's such a sad sound. Let's keep going so we can figure it out. I did see a mite a second ago on a bee climb into the hive, but I don't see on any right now. Like I said, doesn't mean they're not there. I am sure they're there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Dang it. Dead bees.
There's so much honey in here. Holy cow, there is so much honey in here. I mean, the plus side of this is if my other hive is not sitting good, if they don't have enough honey stores, I can freeze these frames for a couple days and put them in there for them. And freezing them will kill off whatever's sitting in here. Whoa. <gasps> I really hope I can get this. Can you see that bee right there? Look at how many mites are on her. What the heck? They're everywhere. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's the mite load, guys. Mites killed them. I know what killed him. <sighs> I did treat them. Before anybody gets on me about treating bees, I did treat them. Clearly not enough. Clearly not enough. Come here. Look it. Do you see this little spot here? Mm -hmm. Right here, these little black dots? Mm -hmm. And right on her, see yeah. that dot? Yeah. That's a Varroa mite. Those are parasites. They're like ticks for bees. You see how they're all over? Here, here, here. That one's got a couple on them. I saw one that had like seven of them on her. That's what's killing them. There, there's a bug. Well, they're not totally dead, but their mite count is so high now. Unless they make another queen. Well, their queen is fine, and I didn't see mites on her, but that's just a matter of time. So, it is going to be such a long shot, but I am going to clean out all the dead bees that I can, put this back together. The queen is still in there. She's still alive. So, we're going to do what we can. Treat heavily and pray i guess and i don't think they're gonna make it but their their numbers are so small right now going into winter i don't think they're gonna survive at all like i think this is kind of a lost cause but i am going to try that's the best i can do well we cleaned out i should have filmed it but we cleaned out all the dead that was there scraped it all on the bottom and uh, fed them and tomorrow morning I'm going to come in here and I'm going to treat again and pray that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to treat these guys really heavily I don't have time today to get into this hive but um, I'm going to treat them heavily tomorrow also assuming that you know in a couple days they'll be like these guys I really, really, really hope that that's not the case, but I don't know. I just didn't do enough this year, I guess. So disappointing. Oh, it's hot. So disappointing. Um, I mean, it's not devastating, but I'm really disappointed. I thought we were doing really well. Obviously, I did not treat enough, obviously, or my mite count would not have been that high. There's just no other reason than that. I did not treat enough. So now I know that I cannot skip any treatments and I need to treat aggressively. It's always disappointing to lose anything on your homestead. A tree, <laughs> like a plant, animals. Hang on. 
get out of this bee suit. It's all disappointing. It's frustrating. You put money, a lot of time, a lot of effort, literal blood, sweat, and tears into virtually everything that goes into your farm. And when it does not work out or it dies and it's your fault, that's hard, but you gotta learn from it. So I'm learning. Beekeeping is by far the hardest thing that I've ever, ever done in homesteading. I'm not stopping. I will continue. I'll buy a new nuke next year. I'll put out swarm traps. I will try and capture them. I will treat aggressively. <laughs> have I said that enough? And um, we'll try it again. I do have another hive. Hopefully they'll be strong. I'm going to, I don't have time to do it right now. I gotta go, but I'm gonna try and get in there tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna get in there tomorrow and I'm gonna treat aggressively, definitely. And I'm gonna try my best to save that hive. What if the whole thing, maybe you guys will know, my seasoned beekeepers. What if 95% of that hive is gone, but the queen is alive and healthy? Then what do I do? Do I, what do I do? What do I do with her? What can I do with her? I don't know. So if you know, if you have tips, if you have any suggestions, please keep them in the comments and please keep them nice. Remember that everybody started somewhere Everybody failed somewhere and falling on your face is still moving forward. It is still learning. I'm still doing something. I'm still trying and I'm willing to improve myself. So if you have kind comments, suggestions, advice, please put them in the comments and help me out and anybody else that's wanting to learn. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys soon.